Three men are waiting extradition from Nigeria to the United States in a disturbing sextortion case out of the Upper Peninsula. This is Jordan DeMay. He took his own life when he was just 17 after being blackmailed online. And now text messages reveal why he felt so much pressure. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester has been following the case. He's got the newest developments. Hank. The FBI and investigators, they know these sextortion cases are growing not only here in Michigan, but across the country. Tonight, new information about this particular case and what you can do to protect your own children. A major break in a horrific sextortion case. Investigators now reveal three Nigerian men facing charges in connection with the death of a Marquette teenager. Last year, Jordan DeMay took his own life after being targeted in the sextortion case. Now we know how things went down. The Nigerian men targeted hundreds of teens via Instagram. They posed as females, creating fake accounts, then requesting nude photos and videos. In this particular case, once DeMay complied, the threats began. The Niger This is my thing. We've seen this case several times where these kids killed themselves. Yo, what are these kids doing on those videos? These kids, these are not just dick pics they're sending these people to where the, you, you have to kill yourself if the person is threatens to, to expose it, right? It could be. I mean, nah. some people are not as, as strong-willed as you, yourself, Chief. Nah, you could, listen, I don't give a fuck if my dick was a centimeter long. I'm not killing myself if you threaten to fucking expose that shit, man. Well, me me, and you are not, but you know how that shit goes. No, nah, I'm, I'm telling you, it's more of these... These kids are like sticking golf balls up their ass or something and sending videos of the, that to the Nigerians. And the Nigerians are like, and then the Nigerians are like, I got you. Send me some money or we're going to put, put this all. There's no way these are just dick pics that they're sending these women, they, they, these they, these people they think are women that are really Nigerian um, scammers. I, I just don't believe that. Y'all believe you kill yourself over somebody threatening to. Um, put your dick pic online. I don't I believe that. I, the gladys will get fired and kill themselves. Yeah, I still. Nah, that's more of a that's more of a um, tiger thing. But I don't know, man. I just I just don't think so. As females creating fake accounts, then requesting nude photos and videos. In this particular case, once the May complied, the threats began. The Nigerian men allegedly saying they would make the photos go viral unless he paid. Here are copies of the text message exchanges. The suspect saying, just pay me right now. He goes on to say, and I won't expose you. The victim, how much? Suspect, $1,000. After DeMay paid $300 and said that's all he had, the text messages continued. See, like that kid doesn't pay you $300 to not put his dick pic online. You just don't, man. You say, you say... You say, man, fuck you, go put it out. I don't give a shit. Like, it's on the internet. It's not like it's just you and him on the internet. It's a million people on the internet. Your dick picking your loss. You man, nobody gives a fuck. If you had to it could do be, something. It could right. be that he was jacking off. Nah. Jacking off, I don't, that, ain't, that ain't enough to kill yourself. White, white boys, the games they play, grab ass and fucking grabbing dicks and all that. White boys is different. They play all type of fruity games with each other no way they kill themselves over that shit it was it, it, this is butthole play right here man something butthole play man or wearing a dress or put on a dress and dance around something it, it ain't no way it, i don't know man you, you gotta see like he's a young kid like he probably he doesn't have that for Knowledge yeah, of like kids are carjacking people and killing people and shooting up schools. Oh, that's, you different. Know? That, that's, that's young son kids. That's different. <laughs> hey, like, how much is a three hundred dollars in Nigeria? Like one million? Oh my god, yeah. Three hundred dollars is I don't know the rate of exchange. When I went in ninety three, it was like thirty six dollars to one, and that was nineteen ninety three. I was thinking like when they said they they want to extradite those Nigerian men here. That's probably yeah, a dream come true for them. They are extraditing them here. The suspect saying, just pay me right now. He goes on to say, and I won't expose you. The victim, how much? Suspect, $1,000. After DeMay paid $300 and said that's all he had, the text messages continued. The suspect saying, enjoy your miserable life. 
the victim, I'm killing myself right now. He goes on to say, because of you, the suspect, good. Do that fast. Damn. <laughs> wow. He said, I'm killing. Yeah, there's no way you kill yourself. This kid's got a bright future. He's got his whole life ahead of him. There's no way. There's no way. No way. There was something that was just jacking off or a dick pic. We even saw a case where a black kid killed himself. Um, over the same the same scam. There's no way, man. You kill yourself over a dick pic. Somebody, I'm gonna put your dick pic out there. Oh, he goes on to say, because of you, the suspect, good, do that fast. Sextortion crimes are growing, and this case shows you the real danger. Here's the U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Michigan. These three defendants targeted more than 100 people and that there were multiple other victims, both minors and adults. It's important to make your children aware of these crimes, monitor their social media accounts, inform them that strangers making threats or asking for money online, well, that's usually a criminal searching for victims. Encourage them to share information with family, friends, maybe a school counselor, should they feel intimidated on the Internet. And investigators also tell me they're looking for other potential victims here throughout the state of Michigan, and they're encouraging those victims to reach out to police in their communities or to the FBI directly. We're here in downtown Detroit. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. Local fool. Poor bastard, man. He killed himself. You know how hard it is to kill yourself? Like, try holding your breath. You can't even hold your breath. You're going to give up, man. Kill yourself? That's a fucking undertaking, man. Not talking about some, like, not talking about fucking, you know what I'm saying, some slight shit. That kid killed himself. What did he do on that video that he sent to the Nigerians? Man? 